Hello there, my name is Emma Illingworth and I run Emma's Music Tuition, an affordable and accessible music tuition service based in Euden. A little bit about me, I love music and have done ever since I was a little girl. I started playing the saxophone at about 12 years old and from that I've learned clarinet, piano, flute, I sing and I also love music theory. One of the main reasons I wanted to get into music was because I wanted to be in a pit band. Now, I don't know if you know what a pit band is, but they are the band of live musicians who play under a production at a theatre. So if you've been to Guys of Theatre, you might have seen them before. They're the band that are just under the stage, that's what's called a pit, and they play the live music. There's an audience, there's lights, there's a production, it's so much fun. If you've been to bigger theatres, such as ones in London, you might have seen really big pit bands that are almost an orchestra in size, and even they go under the stage to play. I just thought that was really cool and I really wanted to play in a pit band. My first opportunity to play in a pit band outside of school was actually at Guyley Theatre. I played in the pit band for 42nd Street and it was the best experience of my life. Ever since that I have been involved in Guyley Theatre and everything they do for the community. I have done various workshops at Gazi Theatre, so I've run some for Emma's Music Tuition as well as Cotswold CIC, and we also did some Joe Cox Community Spirit stuff at uh, Gazi Theatre, which was really fun. I have played in function bands, so that's for weddings, parties, um, on the big stage Gazi Theatre, which was so much fun. I think one of my favourite had to be at my sister's wedding. That was the first real big event that I had played at as part of a big band, and that was so much fun. I have also catered some events at Gazi Theatre, so I have baked cakes, I've made food for different weddings and parties, I've also been to murder mystery events at Gazi Theatre, I've done Pilates at Gazi Theatre, I have been to breathing classes with my grandma at Gazi Theatre, you name it, I've probably done it at Gazi Theatre. These are all reasons that I'm going to be doing some activities for Gazi Theatre's Learning Hub to help you stay creative and enjoy some music during lockdown. So the first activity is going to be create your own musical. Now all a musical is, is a story that has music to it. So I need you to think of an idea for a musical that has a beginning, a middle and an end. And what we're going to do is make that into a big story that we add music to. So if you don't have any instruments at home, don't worry, you can use songs that exist already. So you can use your favourite songs, you can hear songs you've never heard of before, you can use all kinds of different sounds. We just have to make sure that this music goes in with our story and helps make the story even more exciting. I've got a storyboard that will be attached to this video and you can write your story out, you can draw pictures, you can design the lighting, you can design the costumes, whatever you want to do, you can do. And then all you have to do is put it together at the end. So you can write it all out, your story, what's going to be happening, and then the songs that you want to go with it. It'll be so much fun. The second activity I want you to do is write your own piece of music about your favourite theatre experience. So this can be at Guy's Theatre or it can be at any theatre in the whole wide world. And if you haven't managed to go to the theatre, make one up. All I want you to do is make your own song using anything you can find in your house. So if you're like me and you have musical instruments, that's great. We can use instruments to create different moods. For example, I've got a drum here. If I want to make something that sounds nice and calming and peaceful, I might do... But if I want something to sound really, really angry, I might go... That's just one idea. Again, I have this cool instrument here. I might be doing something. Maybe I went to see some animals at the theatre. I don't know. It could be about anything. Maybe we've got a little frog. We can change it around, make a different noise. However, if you don't have musical instruments, there are still so many things in your house you can use to make noises. I've got a few here. A grater. And a knife, just a normal butter knife. How cool is that? I've got a notebook here. Just one noise we can make. We do this. I've got a wooden spoon. You can just tap it on a surface. A pan lid. A pan.
Or if you have a pet like me, I have a little dog, you could use a squeaky toy. There are lots of things you can use in your house to make music. So give it a go. It can be about anything you like. Try and base it on something that you love about the theatre. But if not, just have a go at making some music on your own. If you want to record this, that would be really fun. So you could get a phone or an iPad and just take a picture or a video of what you're doing and let us see your work. Just remember to make sure you ask someone before you use something. For example, you don't want to be using a dirty pot or pan and make sure that someone is with you if you're going to be using metal instruments such as a butter knife and a grater. Okay, I can't wait to hear what you've come up with.